Hello YouTube. This is your friendly neighborhood silver hair stacker. Well, I went to the coin shop today and I picked up a few items. Let's see. First off, I picked up a half ounce app max round. Pretty common little round. But hey, it's another half ounce to add to the stack. I also picked up a 2000 Millennium Silver Round. This was minted by the Westbury Metals Group. I think they're still around, but you don't hear much about them. Maybe some of y'all could inform me some. That's a pretty cool coin. I also picked up a commemorative let's see it's the United States Liberty 1986 proof silver dollar and I think it's got a clad coin in there too if I can get the sucker open. Yeah. Uh, let's see. United States of America. One dollar. It's got the Statue of Liberty on the front. 1986 Ellis Island coin so it's kind of like the Ellis Island uh, I think it's their centennial coin 1886 to 1986 Ellis Island com commemorative then it also comes with a clad I think it's a 50 cent piece pretty cool and then I picked up from the Franklin Mint a commemorative set. This is uh, this coin was made in 1975, and I can't get it to focus. Anyway, 1975. It's got a bunch of presidents on it, but it's not just presidents. There's notable Americans from the 200 years that, uh, uh, from 1776 to 1976. And it also has, it's, uh, this is done in, uh, sterling silver. And it's got the preamble to the Constitution in a circle on the back of the coin. On the edge of the coin, you may have to take my word for it because this is kind of hard to read. It says... Well, got to turn it right side up. That would help. <laughs> the Franklin Mint Bicentennial Medal. And then a little farther around. Well, now it's upside down again. Sterling. 2,000 grains which is a little over four ounces. 2,000 grains of sterling and some mint marks 
and then it's got its serial number. And this serial number right here matches the same serial number as the as the bronze coin. Bronze coin got the same serial number, so it's a matching set. The only problem with this set is it's missing its certificate of authenticity and it's also missing its paperwork. So I don't know how much that's going to detract from its total value. I picked it up, I think, fairly cheap. I've been looking at these sets on eBay for about $210.80. And I picked this up at the coin shop today for $100 even. So I think it's a good deal. Anyway. In the background here, I got some hats. This is my grandfather's hat. It's a Stetson Triple X Beaver. Grandpa, he was born in 17, or excuse me, 1876. The last year of the trade dollar. The next year they started Morgan silver dollars. This hat is also a Stetson. This belonged to my father. My father passed about, oh, about five years ago. He was born in 1925. He was a good man. Both these guys were good men. This is my hat. This is not a Stetson. This is a Miller. <laughs> anyway. Uh, just wondering what kind of hat you wear. Do you carry on traditions? Do you wear the hat that your father and grandfather passed on? I'd like to hear some comments on the hat that you pass down and wear. Do you carry what your what your ancestors gave to you, or do you just go your own path? I think either way is okay. Especially if your uh, father or grandfather uh, didn't amount to a whole lot. On the other hand, my father and grandfather, they passed a lot down to me. Tradition and a little bit of wealth, a little bit of happiness, good family people. You know, it's uh, three generations of hats, and the hats aren't all that's left. So hopefully to my sons, I can pass on down some good old tradition too. I don't know if you can tell it, but I'm about to choke up. But when you think about your dad and your grandpa, and they're gone now, Kind of makes you feel a little misty-eyed. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is your Silver Hair Stacker, and we're gone.